Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my vlogging channel. So guys, another data science general Q&A video. And in this video, we are going to discuss the most important thing in a data science interview. Now, why I'm making this particular video, guys, because recently I've seen many people making successful career transition. And when I had a specific conversation with them, whenever I used to ask them what questions were asked by the interviewers, they used to just say that, they told us to explain very well about their project and all the questions revolved around that specific thing. Now, this is the most important thing, guys, and probably in some of my previous videos also, I've told about this particular thing. Please focus on your data science project that you have created, you have written in your resume and try to explain them in an amazing way. So here you definitely require a storytelling skills, guys. So whenever you start probably explaining about a project, you know the life cycle of a data science project, guys, like data collection strategy. Then you go with the life cycle, like feature engineering, feature selection. Before feature engineering, you also have exploratory data analysis. Then you go with model creation, model hyperparameter tuning, then dockerization, then uh, basically building a container, then deployment of that specific model, and then the retraining approach. If you have done, if you have a pretty similar idea with respect to any kind of project that you have done with respect to this kind of life cycle, it will be definitely very, very helpful for you to explain the entire project very, very easily, guys. Why I'm telling you? Because in a data science interview, let it be machine learning and deep learning, right? They need to know what you have actually done. They need to know it's not. And again, I've told guys, data science is just not about model building. Uh, using some libraries, you are solving some classification or regression problem. But in turn, creating an end to end project is very much important. And if you are able to explain them, if you're able to tell them very well, regarding all the life cycle of a data science project, trust me, the interviewer will be impressed. This is what many people have actually told who have recently cleared these interviews guys trust me i'll tell you one of the experience uh, recently a candidate has actually told me right uh, uh, one of my subscriber who recently cleared the interview so i asked him okay how was your interview pattern so they first of all they told that they, they were pretty much seeing his resume they told him to okay explain about your project now what tactics he has actually used just to understand he told about the data collection strategy. He told that we use this kind of third party APIs, you know, and we were getting all the data for our training purpose. Okay, gone to the next step. They focused on EDA part. And he also said that after in the EDA, they created various reports. They provided it to the stakeholders. They provide and this kind of EDA were definitely in uh, discussion with the product domain ex or domain expertise person or the product manager, right? Then after that, he went to the life cycle. In feature engineering, he told that he faced a lot of problems. Now just see how he is told. In feature engineering, he faced a lot of problems. Some of the problems, he said that in some specific columns, he had many categories. Now the interviewer became interested. He asked the next question, how did he solve that? Now he knew the answer, right? He may or he may not have faced that particular problem. But here is telling the interviewer to tell, to ask him the question, which he knows. And then he was able to answer properly. So one of the question, he solved it very nicely, very easily he explained. Then he tried to talk about the missing values. He knew all the techniques of the missing values, how to handle the missing values and all. He spoke about outliers in that specific project. He knew all the techniques with respect to outliers. Now this way, whenever you are saying that, okay, this was the problem that we actually faced, then obviously the interviewer will be keen that, okay, how did you solve that, right? And then probably you may have the right answer in explaining those things. Right. Then he went to the feature selection technique in the feature selection. He just went and told that he has done this all techniques, this all techniques, this all techniques. So out of the four to five techniques, they told him to explain one of the technique. And he was able to explain it because he has learned that he's saying the interviewer. OK, this is my level. This is the things I know. Ask from this only indirectly. OK, because of his storytelling skills. Then he went with the model creation in model creation. He told about the algorithms that he has used. And again, he told about those algorithms, which he knew very much properly. Now, this is also a very key point to remember, guys. Whichever thing you know properly, go for that. 
right now he explained that particular part also in an amazing way right now coming to the next one ne he went to the next step right he told about hyperparameter tuning he told about various techniques with respect to hyperparameter tuning auto ml techniques also he included and again the interviewer was pretty much impressed uh, they asked about different different uh, auto ml techniques with respect to hyperparameter tuning i think it was something related to optuna hyperopt and all and he was able to explain that also because he had already learned that right then he told about deployment he again to, he had knowledge with respect to different different clouds also guys so he tried to tell about all the clouds in his project he had actually used aws he tried to explain about the other other clouds also which again impressed the recruiter guys right at the end of the day what is happening over here he just following the complete life cycle of top uh, of the data science project and which is the most important uh, uh, topics that he know he's just trying to represent that in front of the recruiter so that the recruiter ask him the question right and this is the pattern that you should follow yes it, I, I, i'm not saying that okay 100% you have to follow in this way some of the recruiter may ask some other thing right but understand there is a high probability that the questions will be revolving around your project right and then they also asked about ci cd pipelines he had recently seen my uh, videos in ml ops he told about ml ops you know uh, by using ml flow where he uh, also told about data bricks and all which is again pretty much amazing guys i liked it uh, because even though he had not used ci cd pipeline they asked him the additional question with respect to ci cd pipeline he told about ml ops he explained it completely and that was with the recent uh, community session that we had done in my channel right so this is the technique guys this is the only technique you go and ask any candidate what were the questions that were asked they'll say it was revolving around my project right so that is the idea that you have to keep you always need to practice the storytelling skills guys definitely practice stand in front of the mirror try to explain your entire project and try to create that key moments where you know that at least interviewer will be asking you those questions which you are actually interested in this is the main tip for cracking a data science interview guys okay and if you don't know something tell them you don't know but try to make them involved try to have a discussion with them that you're having a healthy discussion probably they may put some more new points why did you do like that why you did not do like that then you should be able to answer that also right so i hope you like this particular video guys uh, please do make sure that you subscribe the channel press the bell notification icon and yes i'll come up with more videos like this guys uh, i'll see you all in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one and all bye bye